Mark Uncrowd started Select Pest Control more than 25 years ago. Uncrowd tells me he got a call from the property manager of this parking lot in Florence about some problem geese in the area. So we went out and looked at it and said, yes, there's some nests out there and they are approaching people or going at people as they try to enter into, there's restaurants out there, there's stores out there and people would try to get in there, they were coming at them. Moving the nest is just not an option because wildlife experts say that moving it just a few feet can cause the mother to not recognize it. Now Canada geese are protected under the Migratory Birds Act, which means you cannot do anything to them without a permit. Uncrowd says that the company got the permit to do the only thing it could, destroy the eggs in the hopes that the parents would calm down or find a new place to nest. He says his crews came out around 7 in the morning to destroy the eggs. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife has sent us a program of how to destroy them, how to do it. There's, there's multiple ways of doing that. Someone saw the workers destroying the eggs and took pictures. They then shared them to social media. So how soon after did you know that something wasn't right and people started calling? We knew probably pretty quickly. I'd say within an hour or something, like by the time they got back, um, well, actually, the guy had called me on the job and said that somebody in one of the offices that came out and said something to him. Uncrowd says some of those calls included threats of violence toward him and his staff. One of the calls that I took and they just hung up and said, how would you like your kids to be killed? Uncrowd tells me that he has called back everyone he could following the incident. He says most of them didn't like the fact that the eggs were destroyed, but he says at least they understood why the company did it. He says he's still dealing with negative reviews online from the situation. In Florence, I'm Christian Hauser. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.